Yo, yo, what is up, guys? It is XFazy here. I will be reacting to Hobson Reaver. I can already see we got this, like, Marvel comic book thing going on. Okay, we got a spaceship. Oh, man. Is what's that? Is, was that English? Been on the captions. I just worked out. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that. <laughs> just trying to have some conversation here. Patterson, how long until I reach my destination? Approximately one minute until you've reached Holland. This guy's in goddamn Star Trek here. <laughs> is is that like the spaceship they showed at the start? Yo, this guy is living that life. Okay, Elon Musk. I see you, Elon Musk. I'll be ready. Sorry to overstep my boundaries, Mr. Hobson, but are you deliberately trying to look like the Red Reaper? Is it that bad? People sleep, sleep, sleep on Hobson. The way that he raps now with his rhyme schemes and his delivery has evolved and come a long way since his very first releases. Like his ill mind of Hobson 1 and 2 and stuff. Like if you listen to that versus his songs now, way different, way different. Patterson. Well, rest in peace, Hobson. You dead. You dead. Are telling me that you landed on both feet this is this is actually by the way the editing is really cool but but come on man come on Hobson look at this 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 guy landed like a goddamn Avenger <laughs> like how do you live that how do you live that when the ship is approaching the earth it possesses kinetic energy due to its motion this energy must be dissipated upon impact with the Earth's surface. Due to this, the odds of Hobson surviving this crash, yet landing completely safe on both his feet, are astronomically impossible without the intervention of some sort of alien force we have not yet discovered. It is against the law. As Elon Musk just explained, it is against the law that you are still alive. <laughs> and it's against the law. You won't pay back shit. I wouldn't risk the charge. Tell me who's thrown finna get pissed upon. I'm from the land where the teenage kids are lost. They got sticks with a beef like a shish kebab. So nigga, don't ask why I'm so twisted, dog. You wanna... I got sticks with... I got sticks for the beef like a shish kebab? Excuse me? Kids are lost. They got sticks for the beef like a shish kebab. So nigga, don't ask why I'm so twisted, dog. You wanna be me? Better get your dick in large. Come on, pet parade. It's the don hop, the biscuits don't pop. Dish it nonstop. Give me pot, hot bread. With dish it nonstop. The dish the don don to the dish the don the it the the don don the the don don the the don don. That's that rhyme scheme that I was talking about. Like the way that he's evolved his his rhyme schemes and the way that he chooses the right one so he can flow on the right beat at the right time, like right here. That is something that he's learned and something that he's developed over his career. Um, because at the start, he was not rapping good like this. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Like His very early music had bars that you could relate to, had some facts, some in, in a hateful way, maybe. Maybe he, he's, 
he he was a bit mean in the way he said what he said but what he said was true um and he always had that right um but now on top of that he also has he he got the flow now he got the flow he's leveled up the land with the teenage kids are lost they got sticks for the beef like a shish kebab so nigga don't ask why i'm so twisted dog you want to be me better get your dick and lost come here pip hurrah it's the don hop the biscuits don't pop this shit non-stop him and pock hot bread with vengeance on top nigga i ain't no shit shout out to pock shops i done blew up more than i said these are maybe it's my cold and odd demeanor you cannot afford the hops and rebirth niggas can't destroy my dollars either either bitch if you do not know who i am He's saying you can't stop him at this point. He's already got the bag. He already got the attention. You can't. It doesn't matter if he blew up way harder than he was supposed to. It doesn't matter how it happened. You can't stop it now. It's too late to stop it. You're you're too late. Can't destroy my dollars either. No. Either. Bitch, if you do not know who I am, research. Cool. I tell her how I'm considerate, but I hope she understands. If you don't know who I am, research, and then the ad lib is Google. <laughs> okay, that, that that was funny. Bitch, if you do not know who I am, research. I tell her how I'm considerate, but I hope she understand me first. They have your way, then it go. Considerate. She. I hope she understands me first, but also I hope she understands. Comma. It's me first. I come first. Right. So that's that's a little double there, depending on where you put the comma. Depending on where you put the comma and how you say that bar, it means two different things. Damn, research. I tell her how I'm considerate, but I hope she understand. Me first. They ain't having your way, then it go change. That's no brain. Ha ha. Your radical stage ain't having no place in my face. Praise to Allah. They really hit it when the bad got cheesy. Might as well be carrying a bat like Negan. I do what I do. Never liked you. Hit it. Might as well carry a bat like Negan. Now we shouting. Uh, what? That's Walking Dead. I remember. To Allah. They really hit it when the bat got cheesy. Might as well be carrying a bat like Negan. I do what I do. Never liked you. Hated high school. Every day in class I cheated. If you mad when I pass by gleaming, nigga, you just walking in the path I beat it. My name got a new transpired meaning. Find new fuck shit to gas like me with. Hey, niggas got me fucked up. Don't be talking all that shit. If you ain't with that shit, I'm with you. Nigga, I said, hey, y'all got me fucked up. Don't be talking all that okay. shit. If okay. you ain't with that shit, I'm with you. Hey, hey, yo, the fit, the fit kind of fire. He's he's basically saying, hey, look, you know, I'm still on this white contact stuff, like the contacts he has in his eyes whenever he makes these videos. He's saying that's not going to change. That's not going to change. It's still going to be him at the end of the day. Don't be talking all that shit. If you ain't with that shit, I'm with I'm the barrel of bad news or bearer of bad news or is it a double? They didn't mean both. Hmm. No straight jacket, I'm tearing the straps loose. Can I light up any nigga? I carry the match to. That shit fine. Still repping the PC, y'all never appease me. You step in the feces right now. That shit. You get left in the deep seas while begging me, please, please, and never please the pipe down. See? Again. Deep, 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 pipe down. Deep, 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 down now. Like the way that he's doing his rhymes, he has his two inner rhymes and then the rhyme at the end. Two inner rhymes, the rhyme at the end. That's what I mean by rhyme scheme. It's it's not some, oh, let me just rhyme one syllable at the end of my bar. No, it's more complex than that. Oops. Sorry, I accidentally clicked something and it, it refreshed my whole page. So I'm I'm just trying to find where I stopped. I think it was around here. Straight jacket, I'm tearing the straps loose. Can I light up any nigga? I carry the mess too. That shit fine. Still repping the PC, y'all never appease me. You step in the feces right now. Yeah. You get left in the deep seas while begging me, please, please, and never to please a pipe down. Shut up. Hey. I'm eagle. Hey. Don't ask how I stack my sino. I get a kick out of eating these beasts though. So the only way to define it is hot keto. All right, all right. He's dressed up as Popeye while he talked about the Popeye and the spinach. Got a flow that'll leave most folks in bears. Nigga, if you don't want to carry no burden, don't compare it. Don't do it. If I ever dissed you, I meant that when I wrote them lyrics. Wrote them lyrics. My ex and my side hole paired up because they both impaired. You went into the pockets with a force like. Oh no. Oh my god. We can't make it one song without. Oh my god. 
Why do you always have to diss the people that you date, Hobson? Understandably, I know he's been through some very, very bad experiences, but... <laughs> Oh, that, that's funny, the way that he put that together. For, by the way, there was a bar before that that I wanted to point out. Now I forgot what it was. So let's find both those bars. Oh, yeah. If I ever dissed you, I meant that. Now, as a Hobson fan, I remember you dissed Kendrick Lamar. Did you mean that? <laughs> I, I don't know if it was like a direct diss, but he said something like Kendrick Lamar being short. Um, that was the extent of the diss. It, it was a funny bar, but I can't remember even what song that was in. But I do remember he talked some shit on the Kendrick Lamar height. <laughs> respect the short people like myself. Let's put some respect on our names, okay? Um, but yeah, let's... Don't do it. If I ever dissed you, I meant that when I wrote them lyrics. Wrote them My ex and my side hoe both paired up because they're impaired. <laughs> oh my god, man. What is wrong with you? What is my ex and my side hoe paired up because they both impaired. You witnessing a live apocalypse with a force like five rhinoceros, no record of a surviving hostage. John Colossus who breaking inside the cockpit, turning pilots to lifeless objects. Keep going. If you nice that I'm the flow nasty. Record of a surviving hostage, John Colossus, who breaking inside the cockpit, turning pilots to lifeless objects. Keep going. If you nice, then I'm twice the hot shit. Rivals off the high from all this chaos. I know it's due to the prices costing, cause we're hot. Same niggas hold price get caught in. Ooh. Ooh, what a closing on that verse. That was disgusting. I see you, Hobson. I see you. That looks fun. That looks fun. That's it, right? guy wearing the assassin's creed outfit right now um so obviously this relates to that intro from arrival where you know this this whole thing is a story now um i think this is this album and we're going in order um it's pretty i i like it that he actually collabed with nf who does a very similar thing and who has been doing this for a long time where every single one of his music videos are really well thought out very cinematic and they all relate to each other um and as a whole it's it's just a movie right at that point um it looks like what what this project is takes that that inspiration that um hobson has seen from nf because hobson was featured in one of nf's songs so i i do like that he he's going that direction too because it's it's unique it's different it's not like hey let me just show some like half naked girls or whatever like hey look not that not that people are complaining <laughs> but i'm just saying like this is artistically way deeper and way more creative than the the you know vanilla type um hip-hop videos so yeah shout out to hobson um been following him for a long time so i'm excited to see what he has next 